A mighty wind is coming this way and a great shaking is taking place. 5.5 upgraded to a 5.8 earthquake has just hit uh, Venezuela again and that's 28 minutes ago. It's August 22nd, Wednesday in the year 2018. Good morning, YouTube. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled, rapture ready, precious brothers and sisters, gather around, pull up a chair. A lot going on this morning when we're looking at end time Bible prophecy. I've got my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with PD in the comment section below. I've got a coffee with cream and no sugar. Are you a coffee drinker? How do you take your coffee? Are you having herbal tea, iced tea, or lemonade? Let me know. There's a mighty wind that's coming. Let me know in the comment section below. A great shaking is upon us. Judgment is about to fall on the United States of America. I'm heading out in just a, a few moments after this video to the city of Flint with our ministry and outreach to the homeless and uh, keep our ministry lifted up in prayer and the prayers of protection over our YouTube channel here, our online church, our live stream, and our ministry to the homeless. The devil is on the attack. Persecution, the censorship. Persecution of the saints is uh, like I've never seen, ever seen. We're living in the very last moments of the last days. I have another sip of coffee. I've got my earthquake alarm on behind me and uh just uh i believe it was 24 or 28 minutes ago a 5.5 uh earthquake in vanatu and then a 5.5 5.8 upgraded to a 5.8 in venezuela and just an hour or so ago a 6.2 do you hear me a 6.2 magnitude earthquake in oregon if you're from oregon let me know did you feel anything did you feel uh any shaking did any dishes rattle in, or in the cupboards 6.2 in oregon then we've got the 7.3 in venezuela 6.6 .6 in vanuatu and of course the 8.2 off of uh, fiji and the 6.3 in indonesia things are just ramping up like i've never seen the earthquakes are off of the charts the oregon 6.2 earthquake this morning actually moved the titanic plates he's coming judgment is coming it's not even september yet and i've mentioned how how the lord has just laid on my heart that something is coming and things will not be the same things are going to change drastically and they are changing and a mighty wind a mighty wind is roaring. Hurricane Lane. Hurricane Lane with wind gusts of 195 miles per hour. Sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. Beating down the door of Hawaii. Our prayers for everyone in the line of this Hurricane Lane. Again, 195 mile an hour. Wind gusts, sustained winds of 160, 165 miles an hour headed right for Hawaii. It is a category five, I repeat, a category five hurricane as I speak. And uh, Hawaii has been devastated with the volcano eruptions and uh, it's all happening. The prophecies are, are happening right now, right before our very eyes. The wildfires, the holy fires in uh, California, the earth is shaking, earthquakes in diverse places. A mighty wind is blowing. Do you know Jesus today? Do you know Jesus? You have to invite him into your heart. All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved because something is coming. I said, I believe September. And by December, things will totally never be the same here again. When we're looking at the earthquakes, we're looking at this hurricane lane, this uh, a uh, massive Category 5 hurricane headed toward uh, Hawaii. Earthquakes in Oregon, Vanuatu, uh, Venezuela. The Titanic plates are moving. 8.2 uh, uh, off of Fiji. 6.3 Indonesia. And they're continuing. I've got my earthquake alarm on. 
What is going on with the Antichrist system, the New World Order, the One World Government, and they want a One World Religion and a One World Currency, what they're doing? Look what has happened. Uh, you've got uh, Michael Flynn. They've delayed his sentencing. They want to get him to talk. They want to work out some type of a plea deal against the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, and uh, Michael Cohen. Uh, Donald Trump's former attorney took a plea deal, three to five years. They're trying to set Donald Trump up. This is this whole Mueller team, Mueller investigation, and they're all Democrats. And Donald Trump is the spoiler. They are going to do whatever they can. Mark my word, it's going to cause chaos. It's going to cause chaos in the streets, uprisings, and they're going to initiate martial law. I feel this. I feel this. Michael Cohen now has turned on Donald Trump, trying to set Donald Trump up. And Paul Manafort found guilty on eight counts yesterday, facing life in prison, a lot of, lot of time in prison, at least 60 years minimum in prison. And that's just the first trial. Now he's headed to another trial. And what they're doing, they're trying to get them to come up, make something up. Make something up so they can get Donald Trump. The very least, an impeachment, but I'm sure they want to bring charges against the 45th president of the United States. And if you watch the uh, Donald Trump rallies, you see how many people, how many that the mainstream media news doesn't show you. They don't, CNN, MSNBC, they don't talk about it. But the thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that support Donald Trump when they put the hammer down, and they will, the Antichrist system cannot have Donald Trump in the White House. When it all comes down, and they bring up charges against Donald Trump, they know there's going to be uprisings. They're going to have Antifa on one side, you're going to have the Patriots on the other, and there are going to be clashes in the street. Look out for martial law and FEMA and people being rounded up. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Ministry announcements, I want to thank, uh, before I head on out to Flint, pray for this ministry. I've got an update. A homeless gentleman in Flint. By the name of uh, Woody, who I knew very well. Uh, he was just a joy. Never really bothered anyone. He'd dance and he'd sing. Woody was beaten to death and murdered in the city of Flint. So we lost another homeless homeless person in Flint, Michigan. Pray for Flint. God help us save Flint. I want to thank for yesterday. I want to thank Brother Rick. I love you, Rick. $25. James, $20 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And someone brand new, Elisa. Elisa, $250 to our ministry and our up. Outreach to the homeless. We're all under attack. The homeless, the least of these, the brethren, the invisible people, an onslaught of attack on Christians, on those that are here trying to preach the truth in the end days. This voice will not be silenced and I will not be moved. I'll put all the links below to how you can support this ministry. God's anointing is on this ministry to the homeless. Where it says show more, click on the show more tab if you would like to contribute to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I'll be back in a little bit.